exotic cattle breeds dairy beef and dual cattle i am so full what is your question again exotic cattle breeds old man all right exotic cattle breeds are grouped into dairy beef and dual purpose dairy breeds are kept mainly for milk beef for meat and dual purpose for both milk and beef good i like your attitude now if you stop interrupting i can tell you more dairy breeds have a wedge to triangular shaped body why this is due to heavy hind quarters with a tapering shape towards the head their hind quarters are well set apart to allow room for the big udder check this diagram out for illustrations hmm this is helpful good now these cattle breeds also have large and well developed udders prominent milk veins lean body which carry little flesh and stomachs which are very large meaning they eat a lot of grass correct which they need for high milk production now unlike the local breeds dairy cattle are docile okay now in kenya common dairy cattle breeds include fresian asha gansi and jassy how do you tell one from the other well the easiest way to distinguish them is by color asha are dark brown or red with white markings then gansi are brown with white color in their face leg parts and tail switch jassy varies from light yellowish brown to a shade of black while fresian is black and white they seem to be the most common do they produce same amount of milk not really some fresian is the highest milk producing breed followed by gansi ashaya and jassy in that order however in terms of butter content production Jassy is the highest followed by Gansi, Ashaya and Fresian in that order. Wow. That's interesting. Yes. Now, be sure to study on your own about their origin and body size. I will, of course. Do you want to talk about beef breeds? Why not? I will discuss beef and dual purpose cattle briefly. Then we can call it a day. Deal? Deal. Beef cattle are kept for their meat. Exotic breeds reared in include Aberdeen Angus, Galloway, Hereford, and Shorthorn. I guess they are distinguished from each other by color. You bet. Speaking of, Aberdeen Angus is black. Galloway is black too. but with a brown tint on the coat here for this deep red with white markings on the leg parts short horn is red run or white in color so they somehow resemble the dairy ones not exactly these animals are blocky in shape whatever that means it means they appear square or rectangular with compact bodies they have deep well fleshed bodies and short strong legs to support their heavy weight that makes sense they are kept for their flesh after all yes they also grow fast leading to early maturity just like their cousins the dairy breeds one advantage they have over the dairy breeds though is that they are able to maintain good weight even during dry spells that makes them more tolerant to high temperatures than dairy breeds you got it and they're also more resistant to diseases unlike the dairy ones these breeds are good converters of food that they eat into meat and fat 
I like that. Let me finish. They are good foragers, meaning they are good grazers in the open field. Now this implies that a farmer does not need a lot of selective grazing. Awesome. It follows that the dual breeds have the characteristics of both dairy and beef breeds since they produce both milk and meat, right? Splendid. You have a great future in farming, young man. Now, because they are dual, it is even more economical to rear these breeds. Common ones include Sayuhal, Red Paul, and Cimental. Cimental is a popular breed reared in Gilgil. However, they do not excel in the production of either product, that is, meat or milk. You mean sentimental? Like they cry a lot? <laughs> not quite sentimental, but cemental is the word. You can simply distinguish them by color. For instance, Saiwal is brownish red, Red Paul is deep red, with a white nose, while cemental has light red white patches and a white head. Whoa. Still, if you put all the dairy, beef, and dual cattle breeds together, mm -hmm. I would take forever to distinguish one from the other. That's excusable. Oh, and by the way, there are terms I would like you to note. For example, how do you call a mature male cattle? Bull. What about a mature female one? A cow, of course, and a young one is a cow. Great. Now, a mature bull that has been castrated is called a bullock, whereas a castrated young bull is a steer. And lastly, a young female cattle between weaning and first birth or calving is known as a heifer. Thanks. Now I know. Good. And you can take this chart with you to study the external parts of a cow. Can I buy you lunch before you go? Yes. I am so hungry now that you've mentioned it. I will take pork if you don't mind. That's my favorite too. Let's get out of here quickly. <laughs> <laughs>